Next, 65 years ago, a ship called the Empire Windrush arrived at Tilbury, carrying nearly 500 people from Jamaica to start a whole new life. It was the first large group of West Indian immigrants to arrive after the Second World War. Ruth Banks has the details. Korea sees the arrival of more than 400 happy Jamaicans. It was the first wave of mass migration from the Caribbean to the UK, a boat full of workers called in from the colonies to plug Britain's post-war labour shortage. Among them, Sam King, whose father had sold three cows to pay the £28 and 10 shillings for his passage in hope of a better life. I know my children would have a better quality of education here than in the West Indies. In the West Indies, even if you are bright, Unless your parents have money, you wouldn't have much education. Sam had served in the RAF during the war and hoped to rejoin the forces. Most of the others came in response to job adverts in Jamaican newspapers. But despite that clear invitation, the reception was hardly warm. The authorities panicked and refused to let them off the ship for 24 hours. Peter Dillon was a member of the crew on board. There were still arguments going on in Parliament whether or not they were going to let them come off the ship. So um, although we docked on the 21st, they didn't uh, uh, disembark until the 22nd. And of course, by that time, there was an entourage of um, uh, news people, cameras, and goodness knows what on the dock side because of all the controversy that was going on. Back then, the arrival of 500 black immigrants was news. But there were no black people about. And I have been to some towns in the Midlands, and some children in the forces, of course, want to carry my um, have a sack and things like that just to speak to me. They have never seen a black person. Did you experience a lot of racism when you first arrived? I took a man to Stockwell because we're, he, he was looking for a room to, to rent, and when we got there, it says, no Irish, no blacks, no dogs. Very hurtful, but it was a blessing. We had to buy property. Today, most of my families own two properties. If you have bought a property for 2500 it's half a million now today. As they arrived here in Tilbury, most of the passengers thought they wouldn't be staying in Britain for all that long. But now, 65 years later, we know that the Windrush generation and their descendants would become an integral part of British life. Ruth Banks, ITV News, Tilbury. And if you want to find out more about the Windrush and her historic passengers, there are more images and videos of the people involved on our website, itv.com slash London. After almost four